We're Guys! Until we can clear this with the driver. I got 404 yeah, correct! That's incredible! In Man, I think that's the best I've done for the sure, entire detective. game. Hello there, watchy people. How is it going? Welcome back to LA Noir with me, Kane OG3. We are playing as Cole Phelps, and this is our partner, um, Rusty. Is this Rusty? I can't remember. Um, yeah, we took a bit of a break from this series because uh, we had a look at uh, Thimbleweed Park instead uh, from Ron Gilbert, which was awesome fun. We had uh, a good time playing that game. So, uh, but we, we finished it now, and I think it's time to get back to this. Um, so, yeah, let's let's crack on, try and figure out where we were, and uh, have a good fun time. Uh, what, what have you got to say, Rusty? What do you think we should do? Advice? <laughs> We've got Sailor Boy offering himself up on a plate back at Central. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to look at my notebooks to see if we can remember what we do. The White Shoe Slaying, okay. Uh, people, we've got all these people involved. Okay, um, clues. Who knows? Who knows what we've got now? Uh, so if we have to interview him, then right, all we've got is a police station, so we're gonna have to go back there. Oh, if we've got to interview him, then I'm not gonna know anything. Um, come on, get get in the car, Cole. There we go. It's that one. Right, the um, graphics look a bit washed out on my screen. I do apologise if it's the same on yours. Uh, do I need to... Yeah, get locations and put that in. There we go, and then it'll show us on that. There we go, there's the white uh, flag. Oh yeah, nice... Uh, nice handbrake turn there, Cole. And another one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I apologise if it is a bit dull. It kind of looks washed out. I think it's supposed to be fog. Um, I don't think it's a problem with my graphic settings, but uh, we'll find out tomorrow. The more I play it, the more I'm kind of getting used to it, actually. Excuse me. Uh, let's go down that one that, that we missed. That wasn't such a good handbrake turn there, Cole. Cole is a terrible driver. Sometimes he has strokes of genius. But the rest of the time he's just awful. Look, I mean, look at the back of that car, honestly. This is Rusty's car too. It's not even Cole's car. Whoa, let's put the siren on. Woo, 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 woo. Let's get past. Oh yeah, oh that was a nice uh, kind of vintage garbage truck. Over there, get out of the way, my siren's on. Honestly. Oh, there it is, back that way. Missed the turn. Thankfully I missed that car as well. Whoa! Just about hit that one. Okay, we are here. Is that it right there? Yeah, that's it right there. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, um, <laughs> let's just hop out of here, shall we? <laughs> oh dear, that's, that's possibly the worst parking job. I've done in a long time. Okay, guys, we are back at the police station. I think we bust in there He's and in interview two. Thing. Interview Thanks. two. Okay. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough, who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Okay, in that case, he's probably he's not in trouble. Problem. Right, which way is interview two? Uh, interview room one. Nothing on that side. So interview two must be this way. That is the secretary's room. Can we get, no, we can't go in the secretary's room. Uh, press office, nope, so it must be down. Interview room two, there we go, it says that way. Ah, here we are. So this is our chap, just in here. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup, so it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble, that's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. Yep, I believe him. 
I'm sold already. Okay. Let's review the evidence because, yeah, I don't remember what happened in the last. I probably should have watched my last video before playing actually because that would have helped. Um, right, so we got a time of death approximately 2 a.m. Got tire tracks, muddy ground close to the body. We got boot prints, which are always size 8, uh, leading from the tire tracks towards the body. We got laundry label found on victim's clothing, laundry ledger. Oh. Records listing clients by name and address. Excuse me. My CEO is going to kill me. Okay. Uh, matchbook with Baron's bar. Victim's handbag. Uh, muddy boots. Okay, where did we find those though? I don't remember where we found those. Wet jacket. Wet men's spray jacket. Okay. Bow rope. Bow rope, sorry. Uh, triple braid pattern and victims movements driver testifies dropping her off at the crystal ballroom okay so <laughs> now we know what's uh, what it is let's go with let's use space to observe he's got a bit of a frown on T turn that frown upside down my friend my it's, it's not that bad me. yeah you, you already said that he's only gonna kill you once don't worry about it um Contact with victim. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates. Oh no, the other Terrence. one then. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. We probably did. Uh, well, he's really edgy. We don't have anything. That's the husband's, isn't it? I think the husband did do it, so we're gonna have to doubt here. I think he's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure, you're a shining example of chivalry. <laughs> yep. Punch the dude and then sleep with his wife. Sounds good you to me. You went to Baron's bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. No, he knew her from before that. Notebook. Okay, so... Uh, laundry label... I don't think we've got any proof about that. Muddy boots, wet jacket, bow rope and victim's movements. And companion off at the crystal ballroom. I can't remember if that was before or after. I think that was after. So I'll doubt again. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the crystal yep, ballroom. Yeah, there we go. We know that. Right, movements prior to murder. Let's ask about the cab ride. The cab driver said that you were getting pretty familiar with Teresa. That's not how I'd put it. Uh, he's staring straight at us. Now he's got a nervous twitch in his cheek. That's That's got to be a, a sign. I think we're going to doubt again. So the last thing yes. you was her playing hard to get. Did that make you mad, sailor? Yeah, it did. She knew what a guy's looking for, all broads do. Dancing comes second. And what happened <laughs> at the crystal ballroom? Nothing. Not even a little hand relief. She oh had another word. couple of drinks. There was no fun left in her. Just poured her guts out to some bartender. Sounds, uh, sounds about right. Okay, movements prior to murder. Where did you go after the crystal ballroom? I think the wind had gone out of her sails by then. She caught a cab and I caught a bus back to the base. Do we have any proof? His eyes are all over the place. I don't want to just doubt everything. So, time of death is 2 a.m. Boot prints, laundry label, laundry ledger, matchbook, victim's handbag. 
No, we don't have any evidence, so it's going to have to be doubt. We spoke to the cab driver. Tell us what really happened at the Crystal Ballroom. I'd had enough. She was all upset about her husband bawling about her kids. She, she looked old. Left around closing, maybe 1.30. Got on a bus and she fell asleep on my shoulder. Which bus? An All-American 249. Went past her place. She jumped off and I stayed on it downtown. After that, I caught another bus to San Pedro. San Indiana's Pedro. down there. She's being scrapped. And that was the last you saw of Teresa. Yeah, that's right. We didn't say much. I think she was kind of embarrassed. We're Guys. Until we can clear this with the driver. I got 404 yeah, correct. Said as much. That's incredible. In Man, I think that's the best I've done for the sure, entire game. Detective. Right, I believe him. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Temple and, and like Sunset. He's wanted in connection I with must away to Temple and Back Sunset. What now? Drive all the way to San Pedro and check his locker? Let's see if the bus story checks out. There's a depot at 1660 Beverly Boulevard. Okay, so what shall we do? Shall we go to... Um... The uh, hobo camp or the bus depot. Let's go to the hobo camp. The bus Three depot will still be there. Can one on the hook. Still no hard evidence on any of them. Ah! What are you doing? Get out of my way! Ow! 11K. Roger that. Only a time to get downtown. It's possible. Have them bring him in. Okay. KTPL, we have Lars Carrollton picked up. We go down the railway tunnel. It's more interesting. Okay, so there's a dude, another dude to interview now. We're gonna go this way. And see what we can see at the hobo camp. Whoa! Okay, I hit a parked car that time. That's not good. I was supposed to hit a lamppost earlier. Sorry, I mean Cole hit a lamppost earlier. Nothing to do with me. It's all uh, all Cole's work. Oh look, Rusty's got his shotgun with him. How awesome is that gonna go? <laughs> Nobody takes offence to a guy walking into their home with uh, with a shotgun. LAPD. Oh, and they're closing the gate as well. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds will nope. us far. We need to hold out for the cavalry. How do we do that? Like this. Oh my word. If you want your rightful share, we need These to men know they're harboring a murderer. Oh yeah, check out my backstepping. Yeah, you can't land a swing on me. Ooh. Yes, on the head. I already performed a grapple on him. Press R to finish. Oh, I missed it. What's your name? Oh, now I've got a gun. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You, taking you downtown. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Well, we can do that again. Anyone got a wet towel we can borrow? Okay, so we're looking at evidence now. The Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Toss it, see what you find. Yeah, I'm just looking around outside, dude. I'm being thorough, man. Honestly. Right, it doesn't seem to be anything out there. We've got to listen for our little dings. Oh, look, we got another... Um, another flashback. Let's uh, have a look at the story behind the missing morphine. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. 
It's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help. Jack. You can tell when I'm struggling with commentary. I, I, would have I just start repeating what the characters are saying. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. I need to What's learn this, um... We had a deal with them. This kind of 30s, 40s gangster talk. Drop it into my own conversation. I think we should bring it back. Let's fight for a resurgence of uh, gangster speak. He's putting on the squeeze, boss. People are dying. And if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. Could he do that in the war? We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. I'd say, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained. Uh oh. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Okay. So that's interesting. There's uh, a bit of a, a war breaking out. Anyway, um, on that note, we shall uh, end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, don't forget to check out Kane83.com for all your Kane needs. There is links there to all the things I'm on Twitch and YouTube and uh, Twitter and all those lovely things. Um, so yeah, please do check that out and uh, join me next time uh, to help Cole give this place a thorough search. See you then. Bye. <laughs>